Sige, mag-start na to. Um, so, sa atong kuhan, this is a re recorded message, ha? Uh, it will be uploaded to uh, my YouTube channel. And uh, hopefully, nagkano nga ka kita yan yun na tutorial. <coughs> So, gihapon, um, we still have to work out sa so atong skills, especially in web development since it's like what I told you in the uh, group chat that web development is a very important subject, particularly in creating the thesis or capstone. So, because ang tapstone is a very common as it is mamunay also sa mga requirements to uh, make us um, candidate para sa graduation since third year naman mo um, you should uh, have skills no sa web development especially kani um, pag creative system since uh, based on my experience based on the list of uh, graduated student uh, and propose is most of them are using web development uh, even katong mga ay mga embedded system still use uh, the web development technology such as PHP and MySQL to store the data so even though na sila ay Arduino or gitawag lang siya embedded system we still have to use the web development so but I think most of you gihapon na nag conduct <coughs> at pwede pa join na ng uban <coughs> Makadungog ba mo? Yes, sir. Good. Yes, sir. So, at ang ipa-join ang taga-pika session basig section basig kailangan sila mag-join ng Japan. Para ng Japan, sila mga sexy mo. Ah. <coughs> so, tama nga na under ni Sir um <coughs> Sir Kenneth Garcia. Okay. So, in creating web development, that's a very important sa atong sa atong uh, skills, atong knowledge and skills that we should learn the the following so uh, in in my screen or in your screen i just shared my screen uh one of the one resource resources nato in comes to uh studying with development is coming in wt school we have tutorial point also and um some books but um Uh, some books but canning canning web development uh, <coughs> kung nag face to face pa ta so daghanan ta tag makatunan since mo na atong naman tay mga quiz and everything mga 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 laboratory but unfortunately <coughs> So, yung nataba na pandemic, muna, nangatagkaroon, nag-module, but, 
based on my assessment, module alone cannot kuan, satisfy sa mga 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 skills and knowledge nga you should have or you should learn because more bag um require mo og capstone require mo og paghi mo og system sa thesis ninyo but the, the the skills and knowledge to create that system is magwa mo then how can we go on pass that or overcome that one trial sa atong capstone without having knowledge sa so, pag himo sa capstone so dili lang we're not talking about documents anymore uh, sa atong mga skills na ni and uh, knowledge we should apply on kuha na apply na na instead of ato lang i, i isag o or memorize ito lang i-apply tanan sa mga program or mga technology na ito nagamit or na, na learn from first year ng to karun and dako kayong impact sa ato since lot of you choose to have web development or web web dev or web apps and I web, web, web and you don't have any knowledge particularly in programming sa web so you cannot so na na to so that's why uh, I encourage everyone if you don't have internet connection or every day you know, at least once a week you should view our video or elate bid elate kuan lang ba late viewing na lamang no Ang ahorang purpose inani is to make us kuan in, enhance na to. Kung wala lang tayo na learn, dapat natin ma-learn. Muna yun ang purpose nga nung gihimo na to. Wala, wala na yun na to gihimo to make you kuan. Ang lisod-lisod ganing gihimo ni na to to make you kuan. Uh, at least na amoy panagang when it comes to capstone project okay. <clears throat> based on sa itong title hearing we have a lot of web development and how can we create that system or in some way to so that's why initiate ko nga we should continue and yung buhat na naman if wala may internet is every weekends or every if wala may maka internet I will be uploading this video to my YouTube you can download this video and view it so for example we have five videos a week then download that video and then view it once a day so that uh, you can also learn even do on my internet every day so nagani og uh, ako na lang siguro ko sa iyan ni if wala mo join then I still have to create a video just to have yung kuan uh, yung mong maghimo mong katigo and open gihapon ko for any uh, open ko for mga questions ganahan ko sa mga studenting ano mga questions kay um, kay ba ako na they are having koan experiment, study sila. Mas uban nga, I don't know if, what are they doing. So, let's start na. Okay, so, ato lang yung kuwana ni is our purpose, why we, we're good, we're good doing this one, this uh, tutorial or uh, one. Wala mo na hagipugos na magpalood mo everyday. Kung na may internet connection o na may mga plan plans internet you can join every day but if you don't have then you can do one every week na laman you download na ninyo ang video so that's it ang ato lang nani ang itong main purpose lang inani is makatigo mo atong i-atogi 
i natagdaan ba nganong nagsige man si sir og kuan o makilo it's not our objective here kung wa may load wa mo ko ingon nga magpa-load o may kwarta o mo ko yung mag magpa-load mo ang aho is to provide you some knowledge so that you can have your capstone finish okay it's like yung ganina na you have para sa mga bagong join almost all of you choose to have with development but you, you don't have skill I don't know if uh, HTML. so let's start um, in creating web development there are a lot of technologies no? there are a lot of technologies so may tag web development Ang number one inana is number one inana is html no? so <clears throat> daghan na ang 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 koan daghan na ang pwede ni mo koan so uh, our resource at ang resource karon is um w3 school so if you don't have w3 school uh, there are websites or there are options that you can have w3 school installed in your phones and in your android phones also you can download um W3 school offline. Unsa na siya nga W3 school offline? I hope I have W3 school offline here, so that I can show you what is that, or what I'm talking about. So I think for that. So I'll just provide you some links so that you can download. Para dili na mo kinang internet as long as you do you do have the app. And you do have the the file, the zip file. You can browse uh, every every koan tutorial sa the Blue Tree School. So na may na may gidownload nila ang gid. Excuse me. Gid compress nila ang file. Excuse me. So when it comes to web development, uh, ako ang usa ka instructor nga uh, maka guide you inana so tell tell you my background i work as a web developer for almost 5 years no uh, i work from a company in davao which is the focus in group i was a programmer uh, i work also in uh, a german based company dugay ko didto 5 years siguro 3 years i don't I'm not one but uh, most of my projects are web development so that's why I can tell you that uh, I'm an expert of this field um, my favorite one now especially kind of PHP one of my favorite programming language so if you want to talk about web development ako ang one expert in ana I have many experience I work from different um, company from Australia, Australian company, uh, <coughs> United Kingdom and US and Katong Duga is which is the Germany which is now put to the award sa, sa Fort Wan Hing University na award din sila sa, sa kuan, na silver ka second hindi mo mag up for the library sa so, the award so uh, I don't have the the link but I I have the ko ano na malito ah ang pangan sa company is flipping rocks ni tagiyan na si Jani look ang dosper they did to ko nag online uh, online jobs ng ko sa ona before ko nag teach uh, nag work ko sa Davao din ulit ko sa sa Dunleite then moto nag work ko home base Mas ko pang maling sila na ako sa home base compared sa sa teaching sa university. But di, di, ka, di man ka adok pressure sa university compared online. So, ato ko silungo sa ato kay kasi mo internet. Diri sa ato, wala mo internet sa 
Labi na din sa amo, sa usaw. May signal. Uh, so muna, eh, when it comes to web development, ako ang pwede ninyo daganan kung na may mga pangutan na. Okay, so, <clears throat> balik sa web development, you should have skills of the following. So, kung may web, uh, web developer ka, you should have skills. So, number one is kaning HTML, and hardware text markup language, in which you, you will be going to create the structure, the structure of your website, web page. Then, second is CSS, or the cascading style sheet. So, this one is for the styling. So, although HTML, you can style HTML, you can design, but when it comes to fully design, fully uh, uh, customizing the, the design, styling styling the your web page, you should, you should go for the CSS. So, you should know how to use this code. Diba? Kani. So, kung kung makaibaw, should you should learn yan this is dali naman ni is is apply apply ra man ni ang ijahang mga you know, as long as makatigom mo sa ijahang concept then dali na laman and then ang lisod ang pinaka lisod is kaning javascript no so html is for the structure of your web page css is for styling now, HTML and CSS alone cannot, uh, ha don't have a programming. So, as is lang na siya. Kung unsa yung mag code mura na yung gawas Kung gusto ka, iniklik niya niya, ma-change na siya, di na mahitabo without the programming or the descripting language, which is the JavaScript. Okay? So, JavaScript is the programming for web pages. So, when you, when you say about programming, na na dito kung mo-click ka nga button. So, kung may kag HTML o CSS na sa HTML, na na yung button na ay form. But if you click that button, kung HTML ra, na for example, HTML ra ka, pilihan siya mo gana. Kung may yung kag, mabutan ka dito, ag input, input box, Diyan, nabutang kag input box 1 o input box 2. Diyan, i-click ni mo ang nabutang bukag button dito ang uh, sum. I-click that button. Kung HTML ay mong code, it will not do anything. Wala. But, kung may kag programming, yung muntong hatagan o kuhan, function, may kag 1 o 2, mag-input ka sa first na input box ikan nga input box then na kay button ni click ni mo mo gustong di, uh, difference or sum or uh, quotient you should use javascript so javascript is the programming so it's basic na if you want to learn web development you should have this three um, technology or three uh, ano, skills you should no, HTML, balik naman ng HTML CSS balik naman ng CSS but JavaScript is uh, not not really hard but really puts the easy okay so so muna ang atong Excuse me. Come here, boy. Excuse me. Okay. Bante bata mo po ko doon. Okay. So, uh, Back to our kwan, kinanglan jud na, we know HTML. I hope you have knowledge sa HTML since our module is most of that module is HTML. Uh, I think we don't have CSS, so we should uh, 
start no atong i ato lang i uh, uh, wanan atong ang module atong palamanan ina ning atong tutorial so that we should learn it's like face to face okay so uh, this one JavaScript is very important but dili ta mo focus ka dito sa JavaScript mo butang na ta gamay okay dako man ning JavaScript no uh, JavaScript has a lot of technologies also uh, based sa JavaScript we have jQuery we have Node.js so this one you can create an application so sa una ang web development is uh, makita lang to sa browser either browser sa cellphone or browser sa uh, PC or laptop but now you can create an application without kuan, without a browser kanang stand alone si Java so kabantay mo ano nang mga application ninja like um uh, sa pamana mga application na example mga calculator so di ba you don't need to open your browser just to open the calculator or ang sapo na diha a ah. uh, phone book di ba dili dili naman mo kinanglan mo open pa og web browser just to open open na siya sa phone book so mo pod ang web development sa una nakulong na lang web development sa web browser dili mo gan ang ang imong hinimo nga website or web app or web web page diha ra sa web browser pero karon mugana na siya even do mugana siya sa Android iOS and sa mga desktop PC and Mac so pwede na na si Jack Aron. Kamo na ang ang kuha na to. And then after that, after pilak uh, one month or two, uh, we should learn PHP. Since PHP is the best one, a way to create program. Especially katong hindi mong mga um, application sa, sa Capstone. So, Muna itong purpose is mahatagan mo skills and learning sa web development kay murag layo ra sa kamatuoran sa tong mga learnings murag uh, nata sa panahon na magbihi mo na tagbay but ang atong skills is magun sa mani dok 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 ra wa tayo mga calculation mga strength ng sa ipang pang gamiton, wala gawa tayo nga na nga mga, gawa tayo nga na nga kanang knowledge. So, muna itong buhaton. So, let's start with HTML. No? Uh, siguro karon nga quick, uh, magpaspas sa HTML. Again, you can post or uh, you can download this video. You can post or balik-balik ninyo o gamit or view para matest pa din dyo. Okay? So, HTML stands for um, Hypertext Markup Language. So, when we, when we talk about markup language, compose na siya sa mga tags. So, unsa mga tags? So, this one is a tags or tag. So, Here's an example of an HTML5 document or HTML document. <clears throat> okay? So, ang tag is, muna, that's a tag. Kanang HTML. Kanang highlight na ho. That's a tag. This one is another tag. This one is another tag. This one. This one. So, as long as you can, you can see or you can have this start at the end, less than and greater than the sign, <coughs> that's a tag. So this one is a tag. Naman lang ito o markup language na siya tags. Markup language. <coughs> Bilong na siya sa family sa markup language. So kaniya, 
hypertext siya nga markup language. Na po tayo, extensible markup language. O, ito ako nang XML. Kani, HTML. Okay? So, yung kag markup language, na siya mga tags. Na siya, uh, greater than, na, na, na text sa sood, na, less than. Mga na tags. Na kadari ako, ini. Start tags, the end tags. Ang samay kalayan sa start. Start, wala si Jay. Uh, wala si Jay. Kani, na uh, sign symbol. So, na ganyan nga symbol, that's a uh, end tags. Kani, this one is the start. Sample. sample. Okay? <coughs> now, HTML, you can create your own website. So, <coughs> website is composed of web pages. Kung may kag-web page, para bag, page sa, sa libro. Di ba? Kung may kag-libro, that's composed of pages. Di ba? So, mga po, may kag-website, composed of web pages. So, kung naayos sa ka-web page, mana ang web page. But, kung daghan na ang web page, mana na ang website. But, you can also have a website with one only, one web page. Pwede mag- Pwede ba mahi maglibro o sa raka page? Hindi siguro no. But that's the concept niyan. Web page is muna o sa ka page. This one. This one is one, one, one web page. But niklik niyo muna is another web page, another web page, another web page. So muna siya mahi muna siyang website. Yan na. Interactive, diba? It's like sa Facebook. You have home, you have a profile, you have comment section. So yan na. Uh, ang sa Sa, sa Facebook. <clears throat> now, how we can create a simple HTML website or a web page sa ta? No? So, learn. Dali na ma-learn ang HTML. Okay? So, this one is an example of an HTML web page or code. Syntax. HTML code. So, unsa on nato ni pag himo. So, first of all is you should have an a text editor. Unsa nang text editor? Uh, specifically a plain text editor. Unsa nang plain text editor? So, nata gitawag og mga text editor, but we have also a plain text editor. Microsoft Word is not a plain text editor. It is a rich text. So, uh, it is not advisable to use Microsoft Word to create HTML code. Instead, you have Notepad. That's a plain text editor. You have Visual Studio Code. We have Sublime. You have Notepad++. Edit plus and so on. So, muna mga plain text editor na sila. Sublime 3, Sublime 2. Visual Studio Code. Okay? Meron. So, <clears throat> in my case, uh, naman ko sa Mac, but you can also do one, replicate this one. So, just copy this code. Copy. And open a text editor. So, this one, kaning kaning ang kaniya is uh, uh, a text edit. Oh, that's a plain text editor. Uh, actually, kaning text edit is uh, double ni siya. It, yeah, it, it has a, a, a feature nga pwede siya rich text, pwede po rin plain text. I have also sublime text. <coughs> sublime text. I have also Visual Studio Code. Ko dali, ah. Visual Studio Code. Uh, HTML. Uh, Notepad++. Plus plus. So, pin din na ninyo. I just paste this one in sublime text. So, this one. Then, Save. So, in saving this document, you should Ang ibutang ni siya sa desktop na ho. Ang ibutang ng pong file sa desktop. Anyway. 
in Notepad, or Notepad++, mga tanas na sa may file name, sa may kadihaog, um, my first HTML. But don't forget, no? Don't forget to so man, add that, again, that's that HTML. Okay? So, ayaw kalimte nga magbutang ka og dot .html. Muna yung file name. Just like sa atong tukar, we have dot .mp3 or dot .pdf or dot .docs. In this one, save it as dot .html. So, save na to. Now, remember, as ito nyo save <coughs> para dito nyo i-open. So, duha ang atong ma-open na atong HTML, which is ang code using the plain text editor or ang browser. So, automatically, ang atong first HTML is ma-open sa sa default in yung browser. Either Google Chrome, Firefox, Edge, and so on. So, open this one. Kung open ka, i-view ni mo ang web page, i-open as the as website. Muna na dyang output. But kung i-mo nang editon, ang dyang output, i-open na ni mo si dya. So, man, si dya. Bracket, subline, or text editor. So, muna si dya. So, this is your first HTML code. Simple. Kana. Okay? That's it. Any question? Now my question? So, pause at Akadiyo. Wala may mga question? Yes? Ha? Tapo naman yun, di ba? Ano naman naman yun? Ito yung HTML. Ito yung HTML. Ito yung HTML. Okay. Kasi nasa mga problema. So. Yes, thank you for thank you for that. One of the one, especially when it comes to um, saving your documents, you should always, always remember to save it as that HTML. What's <laughs> that? Okay, what? Si Papa. Okay, diba? Thanks, diba? Okay, so, 
mo na if atong i-save ni si Ja as that text kay mo man ang default <laughs> ayo i-save dito so kay sometimes that text ang nakabutang diha ah so if we save that that text sometimes especially kaning subline or visual studio or uh, uh, bracket din siya mo color Oso na siya sa timalahan. Makita po ninyo dari ako na that text. So, in open ninyo diha ah. Asa naman to? Na. That text ah siya. Especially katong nakahide ay nila ang ang kuwan. So, mo na. Magawas to ng code. Kaya na, that text man. But, yun mo na i-save that, that HTML. Mo view siya as HTML file. Kaya yun mo, magisugo ang browser nga. This is an HTML file not a uh, text or whatever document or uh one message so thank you thank you for that uh j c j bani so muna simple no muna html so i open to balik ko okay sige so open to balik ni sa sublime now, I'll explain to you kung saan sila. Excuse me, kay. Ay, bantay bata. So, I'll explain kung saan na ito pag na, kung saan sila. This one is a doc type. So, we'll explain it later, but this one is just saying that kaninga yung file is HTML5. Mura. HTML5 na si Jack. Okay? Now, this one is HTML. So, ang kukuan sa HTML is na siya start tag so in, in tag. So, as you can see, we have <coughs> this one. HTML and HTML. So, once ka mag-start ka, not, not literally every time, but most of the time, no, 90% or 99%, if you start an HTML tag, you should, you should end with the same tag. So, just like this one, HTML gin sa jag html so para maklaro na to ato siyang i-indent para mamurag makuan ba makita okay so this one ato na explain ha so html muna nag start na ka nga this, this document is an html then nain sa jag html so in html document you have two two parts sa so sa html we have the head. So, kaning head, din hiya ninyo ibutang ang styling, ang scripting. Later on, you will know that. But, as of now, sa head, as title rat to sa ibutang. So, kaning title is, monis dyan makita, no, diba? we have head, then title. So, sa title, we have the text. So, in the browser, makita ninyo nga naa dari ang title. If you can see my mouse, naa dira ang title. Page title. If we going, we're going to change the page title to web dev 1 or web dev. Save na ho hagi. Save to na ho. Save. Why na hi, why na, na why na what change dari ah, but this one sa atong title is muna na na web dev 1. Dari. If you can see my koan cursor. Mo na, dara a. Mo na ang ijang uh, purpose. Sa so, title na siya sa tab o sa, sa, sa page. Okay? Now, the body. Dari ta ka always magbutang sa tong code. No? So, din hi a. Kung ang sa'yo mong ibutang din hi a. Din ha a mabutang ang imuhang HTML sa browser. 
So we have tags each one, no? Means it is an, uh, a heading one, and P is for paragraph. We have for another another W three call if one. Uh, if you want to know the details, but we will have we will one one by one yaning mga mga tags on sana sila. As 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 of now, we explain na ho nga. This is an example of the first HTML ng yung himo. Natay doc type. Na determinants dyan. This is this document is HTML5. Kay nanamta sa HTML5. We have also HTML3, HTML4. Okay? Then we are now in HTML5. Ato nang gipahibaw si Chrome or si Firefox or whatever browser nga nag-open na nga page. Nga, this page is HTML5 and uh, you should act or imong basahon ni siya as HTML5. So, nam naging mga version, na mga version na wala sa uban, walang wala sa HTML4. So, muna nga, imong pahiba ng browser, uy, kani, browser, HTML5 ni ha, kasi dili ni mo basahon ng mga HTML5 ni siya, na yung mga tags ng HTML5. Later, ato nang explain. So, this one is an example na. Okay, so, you can you can add this one now oh. a text diha yeah, ah no so na mo mo view na siya dari asa tong uh, html but if you add text inside the head uh, i think it will not display trtr na diha ah so refresh na ho ko na di ay so display the gap so that's it your example of your HTML. Right. If you have question, no question. So <clears throat> this is just an example. So let's continue with our uh, HTML tutorial. Excuse me. So, mana example. Okay, let's continue Dirita sa <coughs> so, Next page So just go on Sa tag sa ninyo You can Uh have this example. So, itong hinahina yun. Okay? So, wala, nag-explain na naman dali ay ay. So, HTML stand for Hypertext Markup Language. HTML stand for Markup Language for creating web pages. So, if mag-create a page, you should know about HTML. Describe the structure. So, it's like ang ganyan kanina. HTML is for the structure. CSS is for the styling and JavaScript is for functionality. So, dapat kahiba mo ano. Again, HTML is for structure. CSS is for styling and JavaScript or is the functionality or the program. Programming. So, HTML consists of an elements. We're going to discuss on sanang elements, on sanang tags, on sanang Empty tags, aso ng elements, unsa ng start, start tags, end tags, content. So that's an element. Dai, dong. Injo mga hinay hay magumawan. Na ba hinay hay? Napaleo ko kay. Lasu ko. Okay. Consists of series of elements. Elements tells the browser how to display the content. So, yung mga itel how to display. Mo na ijang ijang is structure. This is is how you style the the content. The JavaScript is for the functionality of the content or the interactive interaction pod between the browser and the user. Then. Elements, okay. So, mo ito itong explain ganina, di ba? Example is the, na-dari, ag-explain pa-dari, ah. Kung sana, 
Dog type declaration defines that uh, just like ang king kanina, ang dog type nag-declare siya nga, oi, kani browser HTML5 ni. Ayun ni basa HTML4, HTML5 basa ha ni. Or pag way sa pagbasa. Pero pag language ba, di ba? Na yung mga language na di, same lang sa ato, nga bisaya. Pero na as tayo difference gagmay. Na yung variant ba? Same lang sa ato, pero na yung variant. So, kung basahon ano mo as example, kung bisaya nga, daba, dabawin nyo na ay something different. So, mag, maglibog ka. But yung, yung, yung kung as bisaya as Cebuano, nakasabot ka or something yan ba? So, misinterpretation ang, ang, ang tawag ano. Dapat, mo nang ibutang ng pag-doc type. HTML is the element, the root element. So, in kuan, ito pa nang isibutan ang sunang root element. Kamatang um, itong ganina. Head. So, so, sa HTML, we have the head. Diha ang mga meta information, styling, mga scripting. Muna, o oh, mga meta. Oh, discuss this, this also for title, moto, title sa page, body, and then h1 defines the large heading. Kaya na, ito pa nang discuss ng h1, p, h1, h2, h3, h4, h5, then p, p, b, i, ito pa nang kanya. Now, let's start with the HTML element. Uh, we still have 30 minutes. So, what is an HTML element? So, element is defined by a start tags, some content, and an end tags. So, sa meaning ana. So, ang element ko no, namin kag HTML element, na si Jai nga ng tulo. Kung sa man, na si Jai, start tags, kana na si Jai content o na si Jai end tags. So, together, this three, ang nag-highlight na ho, is what we call an HTML element. Okay? So, let's go back here. There are a lot of HTML elementary. Ah, kung ka paragraph, this is an HTML element. Specifically, a P element or a paragraph element. Kung may yung kadariag, kana, each one, it's another element. An each one element. Okay? And then we have the title. Diba? Nasa dyan start, nasa dyan content, na po sa end tags. So that's a title element. How about this head? So, si head is another HTML element. So, not si Jai start, which is the head. No? And then, we have the content. Usa may content, ana? Si title nga tags is content si Jai, sunod si Jai sa start tag. So, content na si Jai. And then, we have the end head. So, uh, in this kuan element a head element ang kaning title nga element is sod si ja or nahimo si jang content sa head okay just like pod sa html na to diri ah, or body atay body so we have this start tags then in between inana sa sa start og end we have the content and then we have the end tags. And we have also this one, the biggest one, the root, the root element. So, natay, HTML, start tags, sod sa HTML, start tags, o sod sa, or in between sa, start sa HTML, o end sa HTML, we have the head, the body, the title, the H1, and so on. So, kanang head pa dong sa body is what we call a content of the HTML element. I hope you, you get it, okay? So, start, content, and then in tags. Okay? So, muna. That's an HTML element. So, I hope 
you know, on sa ng element, on sa ng start tags, on sa ng content, on sa ng end tags. Diba? Nindot na. So, may kag HTML element composed of start tags, end tags, and content in between. Pwede po kaming nga na. Again, may kag HTML element composed of start tags, end tags, and content in between those two tags. Okay. Just like so the definition there, uh, as a start tags, some content, and then in tags. That's an HTML element. So, nakaibaw naman sa HTML element. Ngayon dati dari sa, dari ito is called, diba? Dari ako magbasi. Mag, Mag-liction ko, dari ako magbasi. Okay, so, in, just like itong ipakita ganina, we have the browser, Chrome, Edge, Firefox, Safari, uh, iOS, yung sa mga mga browser, ila nang interpret as HTML. Sama na ang, 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 output. Sama na ang, page structure. So, ato na yung si Jang, gayahon ha. We we'll still have 10 minutes. Dili pwede na your body is above your head. Di mo rag, kawan, di ba? So, uh, your head should always above your body. Dili pwede yung imong o na sa imong tiil. Okay? So, muna, we have the HTML structure, start tab, HTML, head tab, head, and then the body, and then the content. So, that's it. Your HTML. So, this one, just like ang ngayon kanina, we have HTML5, so that's why you should put doc type HTML. So, kani. So, ni ka-important. Kani, doc type. So, this one is, itawag na siya, prolong. Prolog or, um, kalimut ko sa pangan. Uh, that's the declaration that this document is in HTML5. Declaration. Okay? Sige. So, who invented the World Wide Web? Si Tim Berners-Lee. So, remember ha? The World Wide Web was invented the World Wide Web. So, nauna pa ang World Wide Web kasi sa HTML. It, it is invented in 1989. Gusto pa, magamit na sila HTML. Uh, just a plain text. The technology of the markup language was invented gihapon ni Tim Berners-Lee in 1991. Kung kanas ako gipanganak, he was born in 1991. And then, Dave Raggett drafted the HTML5, uh, HTML plus. Then mo na, nananay, uh, HTML 2.0, HTML 7, we have 3.2, 4.01. Kanin si W3C, kisa man si Ja? Kisa man si W3C? No, kanin sila. So, si W3C is the World Wide Web, so, murag, tolo ka W, World Wide Web Consortium. Muna sila, consortium. So, kinsa muna sila. So, katong mga tag-ages sa mga technology na nagamit ang World Wide Web. So, kinsa muna sila, itong search. Ah, siguro, isa ka na sila. Si Google, si Apple, si Microsoft, si mga company na uh, nag cons consortium, from the world consortium is nag join together. Nag collaborate. Kung pan ka na, collaborate. Okay. Another the three school. Another the three school. World Wide Web Consortium. Kinsa man sila. Uh, sa mga tao, mga company, mga tao na sila na nag 
standardize sa web uh, HTML o sa, sa web. So, nga kung kabante mo nga, kung kanini, sa una, listen kayo na, kay kung kadyo, uh, may mga uban nga mga browser, especially, especially kung nakaabot ko mo sa Internet Explorer, mo ay pinakalabad sa o nga himoon sa design. Kaya tungkol magbuot ang Internet Explorer compared sa Chrome and Firefox. Mabuto yung sikat ng Chrome, Firefox karon kay tungod nindot man sa paspas ng daot ka ng friendly po si Jack when it comes to user and the developer. Word, uh, sa Internet Explorer, grabe. Lisod ka. Special on pa ni mag-design. Later on, you will know that. Okay? Yung mga lang ang example. So, in 2014, we have the HTML5. Okay? So, um, I think the five minutes will go on. So, now we will go the first and second page sa itong HTML tutorial. So, any question? Question? Wala question? Sir, question, sir. Yes, go um, ahead. Napi, sir, as this is, so, ito mo po sa pag-link sa HTML success. Um, uh, if dili kayo maklaro yung tingog ha, but uh, based on koan is nangutan na ka on sa on pag-link sa HTML like CSS. Mau ba? Sir, yes, sir. Okay. So, yes, sir. We have koan, uh, actually, kana is advanced na siyang uh, topic, but let's, let's do it. Let's do it. Sa yun naman na. <laughs> okay? So, there are many ways, no? We have three, uh, actually sa so CSS is na siya nga, nga lesson but we'll discuss it now. Dali naman na. Uh, let's go to the CSS and nandari sa the WordPress school. Uh, again, on ha, eh, hong, i-remind ko on hatagi hat, Sir, hatagi mo sa link sa the WordPress school pang download na mo. Especially the WordPress school yung offline. Okay, para ma-download din dyan. Okay. So, there are three types of uh, CSS, no? So, we have what we call um, inline, internal, and external. So, ang iswat, ha? Inline, internal, and external. So, I uh, I think ang imuhang gusto is ang external. Or external imong kuan. But, Let's discuss these three. We still have kuan mga magkuan ng tag time another time. Ah, kanang kuan. So, I we have here an example, de ba? Right? We have an example of an HTML, and we have example about output. Okay. So, save na ba to? Okay. Now, let's create. Ah, uh, ang first na dere a is sa pangibatang dere a is sa lamang to. Hello, asalamu alaikum. Hangar ni. Okay. Now, inline. So ang inline is so, ang ubatan ni mo is go to the uh, start tags. Then start typing style. Style equals double quote. Okay? Then may kadiha ag color red. So, this is what we called a inline. Inline na. No? Yun na. Itang ka diha. Style. Style. Um, font size. 30 px. So, that's it. That's an inline. When we talk about internal, 
So let's just remove this one. Okay, my pictuhan mani. Okay. Or let's just go on. Add another. Kawan dali ah. Main ka dia og. H2. Simple. H2. Hmm. Another heading. Okay. So we talk about internal. Madali ka sa head. Di ba yung ganina? Sa head, ang mga meta tags, ang designing, and scripting. So, may ka dihag style. So, lahat na po nag-code, ha? Yan na. You can just have this one or Remove this one. So, atang butangan diri ah. Nang ka diha ako. H2. So, lahi ko, di ba? Ito lang kung ano. Ito lang explain ang dya, but, mana. Kusunin mo nga ang H2 atong koloran o blue. So, blue. That's it. So, this one. Then, The last one is what we call internal, or external. I mean external. So, okay. Hindi na ako kabisado kasi pisa naman ko ha. So we have external. You should have link, what is link? Loading card, you know? Mahawat ko ko dali sa Facebook. Ah, kahit tungod. I'm not kuhan. Doon ko kami memorize. But, sige na naman. Ito na mo. Isa naman eh. So, mana yung mong kuhan? Ah, April J. Mag mo na yung mong ipangita. Alam mo na ba? That is is. Ano mo? Ano mo? Loading ka dun. Dada. Okay. So, the most simple is again, add it to the headings. No? So, kana... Bon ang code. So first is href link, then the href. Again, you must have an external file, okay? Like punis jaco, jamin kadia style. That's it. Is is better ato ni butang si jaco folder, okay? Okay, aron first html. So, it's the folder. Save. Okay, let's save the note again. So, I'm going to run it. Okay. Okay. So, In in your case, you should create a folder CSS, okay? Then you may so dang imo ang CSS ng file. So let's create another file, okay? Since external man is ija, so you have you must have the other file. Katung imo gingon na mo na siya nga gilink na nato ang HTML file into another CSS file or ang ang CSS file at ang isod. We link na to sa 
HTML. I'm so uh, very sorry. It's very common, no? Ang kahangers man. Sagdi, ato na ato sa 240. Mag-start sa pikas na kuan. Okay, so let's wait. My gosh. Siguro sa pag-record. Okay. Ang pang-quit na naman din. Okay. Thank you. So let's create. Again, save it to the folder CSS. Okay? Then name this one. Style or whatever. Again, just like that HTML, don't forget to add that CSS. Okay? So, muna diha ah. So, let's create. Oh my gosh, ang kahangin. Kahangin ka adyo. Ano naman eh. Let's create another. Kuan. Ano ba siya? H3 na punta. Okay. Ito na spelling. Ay, I don't know exact ang spelling. Okay. So, uh, just like sa style. Ano na ang code? Ha? Let's create this one as green. What a green, no? Okay. I hope it will, no. Style, oh my gosh. At itong i-copy balik kami. So, mag-add ka ng code. April J. Kani. So, ang href is add to ka sa, diba, naman ka diha ah, kung ang imong file, naman na, kung imong file, Kaning style, kauban mo siya sa first HTML, yung mga butang dali ah, is style.css But, ang problema na to, kaya ang, ang kuhan, actually, this is not a problem, but, kaya ng standard na siya para ang, ang imong files dali ka dito kalat. So, atong iso dito folder nga CSS, then style.css. So, insert nga ka na, atong butang nga dali ah, oh. CSS dot okay. So, dun sa folder, CSS, then style at CSS, then real, o sa maling real, relationship ni dyan, o sa may relationship ni mo sa HTML. Kanyang si dyan, o sa maling si dyan. This is a style sheet, o sa may type ni dyan, text dot CSS. Nakawa? So, kanyang nga code, line number 6. As long as, this one exists. Okay? Dari ah. I hope it will run, be. Ano na to? Sa naman ito atong kuwan, lagyan ako itong na-open. Ito ito, save. Save na ito. H3, H3, name. Hindi, hindi kayo. Wala na. So, this is... Heading na natay green. So, nata tayo atong ah, himuon ni dyang uh, orange. Tahay. So, question. So, bad ba? So, line 16 is what they called an in uh, an in line Okay, inline man siya sa tag. 8 to 11 is what we call internal. Kaya ang styling na lang siya sa sod, but internally, wala siya. Naghatawag mo siya sa H2. Itong list ko niya. Then, 6 is external since nasa siya sa gawas. So, any question? Nakaya rin mo? Yes. Ha? Huh? Yes. Ah, no. uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Parang pang concert ka rin gabog na yung sa CSS ba? Oo. Hindi rin makamagpunta ko ng class ng dessert no? Kanang class ka rin. Class and ID. Oo. Mismo nga, ipangaya ni mo para ma... Parang may specific dessert ba? Kaya naman tananggoy na may kasagaran ka ng parehas. So, get you one. Oo. Oo. Parehas. Parang graph. Good. Bali, ang class mo yung mga one. Yes. 